Hello guys and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Today, let's take a look at sea animals. Check them out right over here. I'm going to be telling you guys every single fact that I know on all these different sea animals. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's begin. The first one right here is actually a hermit crab. The hermit crab, you know, I just came to know that the hermit crab actually doesn't have its own shell. They actually takes the shell left behind by other animals, for example, like sea snails, okay? So yeah, because they do have a very, very soft tail right at the back, so they actually need to hide inside the shell. Otherwise, the temperature might be a bit too hot for it, okay? So they actually take shells from other sea animals. Very, very interesting fact. Okay, let's move on. Um, what else do we have? Okay, how about, I'm trying to find a polar bear, yes. Do you guys know that a polar bear, they are actually black in color. Their skin is actually black in color. Yep, that's right. They are just covered with, you know, fur that looks like white. But actual fact is that they are black underneath. Very, very cool. Okay, moving on, let's take a look at this one right here. This, it's a manatee. Do you guys know that manatees, they actually swim at a very, very slow speed of five miles per hour that is like super relaxing kind of pace i've actually seen them before i've seen them like slow um you know swimming really really slowly very gently looks very very um pleasing i must say okay let's move on what other facts do we have okay we have a horse shoe crab right over here do you guys know that this sea animal right here they actually existed 450 million years ago yes the strike um the population is still quite big but it is actually declining as well okay let's move on let's take a look at another sea animal how about oh yes there's one more fact about the hermit crab hermit crabs are actually more related to lobsters than a crab and speaking of lobster we have one right over here this is actually um you know, lobster with two very huge claws, as you guys can see. Really beautiful looking. Okay, let's move on. This is a moray eel. Moray eels, they love to live. They love to hide in little cracks and little holes in the ocean seafloor. I've actually seen them before. I've seen two moray eels. They were like hiding inside this really narrow creek. Yeah, this really narrow crack um, in one of the stones. You know at my local sea aquarium so yeah very interesting they are really this color you know it's like really bright and luminous green moving on let's see what else you've got an ammonite right over here this is also like a living okay not a, exactly a living this is actually already extinct it is a prehistoric um you know sea creature okay let's move on octopus you can see that it has eight tentacles Octopus are really, really intelligent animals. They can change the colors, they can change the body texture, they can even change the shape to make themselves look like a rock. Very, very incredible. Moving on, we have a squid. Do you guys know that squid, they actually have three hearts? I just came to know this as well, so I thought, you know, this is a very, very interesting fact you know, for everybody to, to know. Okay, um, let's move on. This one right here is actually a blue crab and do you guys know that crabs, they do not have teeth in their mouth but the teeth are actually in the stomach which is very very interesting, yeah. Okay, moving on, let's take a look at this. We have a leopard seal right over here. So for leopard seals, the bigger they are, it is actually better for them and they are solitary animals. They're not social like the sea lions. So the sea lions on the other side are extremely extremely social animals okay um yeah okay let's move on another fact about the manatee is that they actually have very very small brains but they are actually quite intelligent yes i've just read that and i'm you know very intrigued by that i mean if the brain is small wow it's quite amazing that if the brain is small and it can still be smart yeah it's, it's very unbelievable i feel Okay, let's move on. We have our um, warriors right here. In fact, we have a couple of warriors in our collection. And do you guys know that there is actually a functionality to these um, two huge 
teeth right over here so they can basically dig their teeth into the ocean sea floor while they use their flippers to like dig for food food such as scallops yeah very interesting okay let's move on we have a chin strap penguin right here do you guys know why it is called the chin strap penguin very simple i mean just take a look at the chin there's a stripe across you know the face right over here so it is why it is called a chin strap penguin okay flying fish i've never really seen them before but i know that flying fish they don't actually fly they are able to swim at really fast speed and just glide past and glide through the water surface and just hop into the air and just down again into the um, ocean so very very cool yep next we have a blue tank i was fortunate enough to see plenty of blue tanks um, at my local sea aquarium and blue tanks you can see once you're there you're able to see like all the blue tanks although they're all in blue color but some are in light blue some are in dark blue yeah they can basically adjust the intensity of the of the color of the body color which is very very amazing i feel okay koi fish koi fish are able to live to up to 100 or even 200 years old so there was actually a piece of news in my country which is singapore so a bunch of autos actually enter someone's home and just ate up all the koi fish yeah they just killed and ate all the koi fish and some of them were like 150 years old yeah it's very very sad for the owner for sure and you guys know what is even more um, infuriating is that the otters just eat the head and just throw away the body yeah that is so sad right i mean yeah i mean that's that's mother nature for you next up we have a penguin right over here and this species of penguin is actually uh, the largest species of penguins around and um, it is known as the emperor penguin and you can see there's a, like a penguin chick right over here okay all right um next up let's see what else we've got uh, we have a beluga whale right over here yep i think this is a beluga whale a really beautiful one beluga whales they can actually use echolocation to help them find a way in the ocean okay moving on with another crab right over here like what i've mentioned crabs they have teeth in the stomach not their mouth and another crab right here and i think this has got to be one of the most colorful crabs that you can ever find out there okay this is actually known as the sally lightfoot crab i mean if you take a look at, at this crab you can find orange you can find red purple light purple on the underside you can even find blue and yellow so wow there's so many colors you know just for one single crab i must say that it's really really a beautiful and attractive okay next up we have a marble ray right over here so you guys can see the difference between the marble ray and the stingray okay so this is a marble ray so it basically gets its name from this body pattern so you can see it actually looks like some kind of a marble stone okay and this one right here is a stingray of course it has this little spear i wouldn't call it spear like this little spike or you know stink right at the end of the tail right over here so this can be pretty deadly as well so you have to be really careful if you see a stingray stay clear of it okay um another polar bear like what i mentioned they are actually black in color the skin color is actually black and their fur is actually not white the fur is actually translucent so when you view them when you view so much hair together so they tend to appear as white okay weedy sea dragon right over here a really really beautiful sea animal that resembles a bit like a um, seahorse i was fortunate enough to um you know to, to see them in my local sea aquarium they were like just staying still in the water just moving slightly like this yeah um i was also able to see like different kinds of jellyfish i must say that jellyfish they are really really beautiful sea animals i was very fortunate to be able to see like you know what was that called moon jellyfish they were so pretty they're like translucent they're like see-through and they were actually like 
putting on lights and you'll be able to see like jellyfish like glowing in the dark so it's very very amazing sight okay and other worries like what I've mentioned just now you know the teeth actually has a function which is the, um, to anchor themselves down to the ocean seafloor okay we have a couple of our um, clown fish right over here do you guys have any facts about the clown fish if you do comment down below but one thing for sure is that I know that you guys would definitely know Nemo Finding Nemo, this is basically uh, you know, the species or the breed of Nemo Okay, moving on we have another ray right here and this is a blue spotted ray Okay um, A box fish, this has got to be the one and only fish that looks like a box I mean if you take a look at the body, it looks like the shape of a box It looks like a box yeah let's see what other fish we have okay we have a goliath grouper right over here a very huge fish okay with thick lips as you guys can see very adorable looking catfish guys a catfish catfish can grow up to pretty big i've actually just seen one um at a restaurant they actually had a pond next to the restaurant and i was able to see many catfish swimming around in the pool waiting for people to feed them and they actually use this whiskers to help them find a way in the very dirty and murky water okay um, a large mouthed bass right over here okay with the mouth wide open mantar rays i think we have two mantar ray figures not too sure where's the other one this is actually oh this right over here so for manta rays, I was very fortunate to see uh, manta rays swimming right in front of my eyes when I went to an island called Maldives. So when they swim, they basically move their flippers in a wavy manner and they swim so elegantly. They don't swim at super fast speed, but you know, really, really nice. Incredible. I think this is a leopard seal. Um, and this is a sea turtle baby. So there was actually a piece of news in my country um, you know, some of the baby turtles were hatched and instead of swimming towards the sea, they actually swim inshore. They went inside the island because they saw a lamppost and they thought the lamppost was actually the moon. So people were kind enough to like, you know, grab hold of all the sea turtles and just drop them back into the sea. Yeah, so humanity was awesome. Yep, that's right. Lobster right over here. We have two lobsters right, right here, both with um, pencils. Okay. Frogfish is another really interesting fish. If you guys do not know, um, they can actually walk. When I say walk, I mean like inverted commas because they can actually use their this flippers as legs to walk on the seafloor like this. Okay. Very very cool and interesting. Octopus are the masters of camouflage, okay? So I've actually seen a documentary on Netflix on the octopus. So they can make themselves look like a rock. They can change the shape immediately. The colors change immediately, you know, from green to brown in just a matter of seconds. And they totally look like a rock and they can actually fool the predator, okay? Very, very, very awesome stuff. Um, a dugong right over here. Um, this is actually a ladderback sea turtle. I mean, if you compare it with other sea turtles, you can see the shell is actually very, very pointed right at the end over here. And there are like ridges across the shell as well, which is very different from the usual, you know, ninja turtles that we know. Okay, you can actually see, you know, like the hexagon shape on um, the shell. So they are quite different. Okay. Moving on, another adult sea turtle. Okay, here's another one, really beautiful one. This is a smaller version. And this is a cow nose ray. So you can see, uh, I think, I'm not too sure. Where's the nose? Is this the nose? Yes, I think so. I think it got its name uh, basically from the appearance. Yeah, which looks like the nose of a cow. Cow nose ray. Moving on, we have another crab right here. You can see that this crab, the pencils are, you know, relatively smaller than other crabs when it comes to the proportion. So this is actually a king crab. It's not a spider crab, it is a king crab. Okay, and right here we have a 
salmon fish. Yes, salmon fish. Um, yeah, salmon are very, very popular, you know, among humans as food. So, um, yeah, so, so salmon is actually hunted extensively for food. Okay, let's take a look at some of our different species of penguins. Okay, so this one right here is actually an African penguin. And this one right here is a humboldt penguin. So you can see a difference between uh, two of them. One has a more pointed beak. The other one has a rounded, uh, more rounder beak. So you can see the body of the um, African penguins. You can see a bit of like, you know, black patterns on his body. Whereas the other one is like cleaner. These two right here, they should be, um, you know, either an emperor penguin or a penguin penguin because they do look kind of similar and these two figures I don't think they are accurate enough but what I can tell you is that emperor penguins they are the largest species of penguins around this is known as an angler fish which is another very very interesting fish because it actually has a, a kind of mechanism right in front of um you know its face it's like a light bulb which can emit light and attract prey so once the prey approaches in the light bulb the angler fish will just swim forward and just gobble up all the um, little fish. Another lobster right here. The starfish. Okay, beautiful one. We have two more eels. Sea lions. Sea lions, I mean, very different from um, leopard seals. They are very social, sociable animals, okay? And this one is another leopard seal. All right. And this one right here is actually an extinct fish known as a coelocanth. This, it's a rock hopper penguin. Very adorable looking penguin. You can see it has very, very nice hairstyle. And another polar bear cup, adorable. And this is a hop seal. You can easily recognize this by the patterns on its body. Yeah, it looks very, very beautiful, I must say. Um, soft African penguin right here. This one it should be, I'm not sure, probably an emperor penguin. Yeah, I think so, probably. And this is probably an emperor penguin cheek. Moving on, another squid. A seahorse. We have two rays, but I don't know the exact species of these two rays right here. Let's just call this, um, you know, the blue spotted ray and this one as the, um, I'm not sure what to call this, sand ray, because the colors actually looks like sand. Okay, moving on, a small little dugong, another squid, and this is actually supposed to be a giant squid also known as Kraken, which is like a myth, you know, Kraken is like, you know, this mysterious sea monster that actually attack ships and, um, you know, sailors, yeah, so, yeah, this is supposed to be a giant squid. Nudie Branch, I'm gonna find out more facts about this sea animal right here, and I'll be telling you guys more in the next video of another sea lion. These two, I have no idea what they are, so I need to help you guys, okay? So thanks for watching this video, hopefully you guys enjoy this. So I've basically covered two boxes of um, you know, sea animals and um, I've managed to tell you some facts about every single one of them. I'll try my best to provide you with even more facts in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.